all super <clears throat> excited to hear about the new A40TR headset. So could you give us a quick overview? Uh, sure. Well, the uh, the A40 TR plus Mixamp Pro TR is our latest version in the flagship product line for Mastro. Our, our headset and Mixamp used in in most pretty much every esports uh, setting there is. Uh, the main focus of this new product for us, the, what we did was focus really on the audio aspects. It's really the best sounding Astro A40 we've built to date, all the way from new drivers in the headset itself. And we've nice. gone through and retuned the entire audio engine from the mix amp all the way to the headset uh, and really tuned for gaming and spatial audio moving forward. So we're, we're really excited at the launch of this product. So what exactly is the mix amp and how does it work specifically? So the Mixamp was originally designed to kind of bridge that gap of being able to adjust your game audio and your voice audio on the fly. Uh, in a tournament setting specifically, it can be very, very harsh and grueling and, and to have to dig into a menu to adjust your volumes uh, is very chaotic and you just don't really have time for it. So if one of your teammates is yelling loud, et cetera, you want to be able to adjust those settings on the fly. So that's really where the, the design initially came years ago for the, the Mixamp. But it's it's really evolved over time uh, as as esports needs have evolved, as content creator needs have evolved. Mm -hmm. We've evolved the Mixamp with it as well, and so the Mixamp now allows you to take your game audio from your console or from your PC, mix in your chat. You can do all that on the fly. We've also added things like adding the ability to have a stream output port as well, so you can take that mix of audio and feed it to your your stream as well. So really a, a plethora of inputs and outputs of the mix amp to put all your game audio needs really at, at your fingertips. Hmm. So, yeah, I know when we were talking to um, Thaddeus on, he was actually telling us about how a lot of competitors in early Call of Duty would daisy chain these mix amps and have that mm -hmm. as their method of communication. And it's yeah. just such a great feature. But now, you know, another feature that really intrigued me is how does Dolby Headphone 7.1 surround sound actually work with these headphones? So all the processing for Dolby Headphone is done inside the mix amp itself. Uh, the, the A40 standalone is just a, a, a two-channel headset. So what we do is through via the optical cable, we take the Dolby digital signal from the console, we decode it here inside the mix amp, and then we process it using Dolby Headphone. And that will give you your horizontal uh, surround sound experience. We've also, uh, what we've done is tuned the mix amp, like I mentioned earlier, for spatial audio. And so really we're making a move kind of away from the channel-based audio into spatial audio because this is where we see a lot of the game developers pushing the technology forward, mm -hmm. which is why on uh, on the Xbox SKU, we've actually bundled the uh, the code to give you two years' worth of Dolby Atmos. Mm -hmm. And so as uh, Xbox moves into spatial audio, as other platforms move into spatial audio and ambisonics, uh, the latest generation of the A40 and the uh, mix amp will allow you to, to have the best sounding audio possible with those new spatial audio formats, as well as your legacy channel-based formats as well. Yes, and we're watching the video, obviously, as we're speaking to you, and we see that on the headphones itself, there's certain parts that can be removed, adjusted, changed. Mm -hmm. So what is, like, the full modification spectrum when it comes to the headphones? Like, what can oh, you man, change? What comes... can you change? Oh, there. <laughs> here, comes the, here comes the show and tell, right? Well, <laughs> out of the box, the headset comes as an open back headset. Mm -hmm. uh, the speaker tags are removable, but you have an open back, and this is really meant for side-by-side -side team based communication. So you can hear a little bit of your players next to you, as well as the daisy chain from the mix amp. But if you need more noise isolation, the headset completely comes apart. You can take off the cloth ear cushions, you can take off the speaker tags, and you can take off the headset mm -hmm. cushion as well. And then we also sell what are called mod kits. So we have leatherette ear cushions that provide a much better seal to give you better noise isolation. Are we have the leatherette uh, headband. Are they all <laughs> Sorry, magnetic? Too low. Yeah, everything's magnetic except for the headband is a clip in. The speaker tags are also magnetic, and those all pop on the sides as well. Wow. And the speaker tags also offer you that noise isolation seal to turn it to a closed back headset. And we also have a microphone you can swap out for a more noise isolation microphone to give you better audio quality when you're up on the main stage in a super noisy environment. So fully modular on the headset, uh, pretty much all the way down to the frame. Plus, with the speaker tags, if you want to get fancy, you can always go online with our Astro speaker tag configurator. You can upload your own artwork for your team no or if wow. you're a content creator, your logo, and get your own custom speaker tags made for your headset. So uh, it's, it's pretty cool. So we really tried wow. to keep the content creators and the teams in mind uh, when developing our products. That's so sick. Yeah, I can imagine so many streamers going online and actually getting those tags, getting their branding on it, and streaming with it because it's just so easy. So simply done. Yeah, the magnets are a great idea, too. So how does the actual command center software work? We saw a little bit of it in the B-roll that we were playing, but give us the lowdown. 
Sure. So the Astro Command Center software controls basically every input and output of the Astro Pro TR mix amp. And so typically in the past, this would require you to have either a Mac or a Windows PC to run the software. But we're really excited to announce with this new generation moving forward, we actually now have an Xbox dashboard app. We realize mm -hmm. that there's a lot of players who own an Astro A40, the mix amp, but don't they maybe necessarily have a computer at the ready to plug into and adjust these settings. So we now have an Xbox dashboard app that will be released in the, in the very near future. And that will allow you to adjust all those settings on the fly from your Xbox. So without ever having to leave your your, your console. Uh, and we also plan on uh, when other platforms open up, we certainly want to release it uh, everywhere we can. Uh, we really feel that uh, being able to give yourself full control over the headset really takes that that headset to the next level. And so we want to provide the tool to as many people as possible. So the initial release here will have it available on Windows 10 and Xbox. And then again, in the very near future following, we'll have the standalone versions for Windows and Macintosh users as well with the new version of the Astro Command Center. Well, it definitely sounds like you guys are providing the necessary tools for gamers, content creators, and all of the above. Thank you so much doing for joining us, Mike. Hey, no you are. Thanks for having you're, me. you're doing it. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us. We look forward to checking out the products right here on the show later on. Cool. Thank you.